we are on a little adventure. We are heading to Minneapolis. Minnesota. We are going to Celebration 2017 to celebrate the life of the great um, Prince, Prince Rogers yeah. Nelson. Yep, at his house, Paisley Park. Yes, in Chanhassen, Minnesota. Um, it's a four-day event. Um, it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Four days, four hours of concerts each day. Um, there's also a party in town. At um, um, First Avenue where uh, Purple Rain was actually filmed. So we're gonna go to that. And enjoy. Yeah, we're super excited. So we'll keep you up to date and we'll see you later. See ya. Set to go, meal passes, parking. Yeah. Lanyard everything yes everyone is so excited there's people from every country yeah waiting in line to get their credentials awesome yeah we'll we see you later <laughs>so we're in front of we were driving down the road and we spotted this mural isn't it beautiful we're here in Chenhassen beautiful area very woody and um, green and Little cold rainy and it's um uh, it says it's about 40 degrees for me that's freezing <laughs> I like it it's nice but yeah look at the mural it's, it's gorgeous it's beautiful so we check in again with more exciting things yeah Tonight was the first night of Celebration 2017. Um, we had track two, which started at... Five o'clock. Five o'clock to ten o'clock. It was awesome. Yeah. We got there. They opened up with a, um, a welcome video. Um, of, showed um, concert. A concert in Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Prince in concert. It was It was really, so awesome. really good. And he actually went in at that concert. He invited everyone to his house, which is what we did. We were at his house paisley park this evening yeah it was it's it was really beautiful i'm just like uh awestruck it was terrific awesome yeah can't can't describe how how great it was and then after that um, we had a meal break and it was um a buffet buffet style um everything was vegetarian because that's the type of food prince um ate and everything was made by his personal chef and his staff um we had salad we had pasta and we had some other thing that we couldn't figure out but it was so good yeah it was like a dark color with some it looked like maybe there were some like, peas in it or something it kind of looked like quinoa but mm -hmm. it was black yeah yeah but the best part of the meal you want to tell them or you want me to tell them well we okay it was like buffet style it was so the you, best part of the home yeah night, so you you sit down on the long tables um kind of like how our luau tables at home in Hawaii and we, we decided to sit in the middle of one of the tables so we're sitting down and eating then the next thing you know that um, Prince's sister Taika comes and sits down right in front of us and right across us with her um, with the rest of her family yeah. um, she was so gracious and made us feel comfortable asked us how um, how we were enjoying ourselves and so he's, he was like oh should I tell them if, if we want if they need us to move down I was like well, I don't know so she he asked um, I guess yeah her uh, husband mm -hmm. 
And then he said, "Oh no, you just stay there. We're here. We came here to join you." Yeah, that was that was very nice. Yeah, and then they also gave us. They had special food made for them. They even gave us the special food. Yeah, they gave us some food on top of the food we have, which was a buffet. And um, we just felt so welcome. It's, it's amazing because she puts herself out there. She was in the crowd. She was, you know, during the concert and um, throughout the whole, the whole time we were there. She just, she's there with people hugging, walking throughout the crowd. And it made, it made you feel so special yeah. and, and all part of, part of the family. Yeah, it was, it was really nice. And then after dinner, we um, went back and we had the new Power Generation panel um, where um, they had a speaker, yeah, um, media moderator. Yeah, he was from one of the local radio stations. Yeah, asking them questions and they, um, and one of the questions was how did they get into new Power Generation and the stories were very, very interesting, very funny. Yeah, and as you know, new Power Generation was Prince's group after um oh my god revolution the revolution which was about uh, i think 1989 mm -hmm. until 2000 but there's still uh, the new power generation just that prince is not with us anymore and um just to let you know did you know that the song cream wasn't even gonna be on the diamonds and pearls um uh, album album yeah that yeah. was a last minute um they went and presented to warner brothers and that song wasn't even on the album but um after they presented, they felt great about it, but uh, I guess the president from Warner Brothers um, felt like there wasn't a, a hit single in yeah, that the number whole one album. song they needed. So he went back and within five hours, he had it all written up. He and, wrote up Cream. And then the rest of the group came in and played. He had, he had already recorded parts, but they came in and played their parts. So it's um, amazing. Five hours, that number one hit song, he wrote that up like yeah. that. So there's a lot of interesting stories. Yeah, yeah. So much. Um, the thing after that that they did was um, they brought in the two guys. Um, one was a record store uh, worker. I'm not sure if that was his store, but um, he worked with uh, Prince came in as a teenager and he was amazed the first time he heard Prince play. He had heard Prince was great, but Prince started picking out the chords on his guitar and with his other, other hand, he started playing the rhythms on the keyboard at the same time. Mm -hmm. So he was just amazed. From that point on, uh, he did stuff with Prince as far as the guitars and stuff. He, he designed um, Prince's um, guitar, like one of his guitars in like two the, weeks. The Cloud, yeah. He kind of took it after one of Prince's, um, his bass, the one with the curly. And then most people know the white bass, which mm -hmm. is, I mean, the white guitar, which is one of his most famous guitars with the big curl on the top. He uh, actually designed that, made the guitar. I think it took him three weeks to mm -hmm. design the guitar because the movie had already started in Prince. So. Yeah when Prince asked him to make the guitar and um, this guy never made a guitar ever. He was just a person who um, fixed guitars. Yeah, yeah, so he got that done. And also they had the other guy who takes care of his guitars all through when he was playing concerts and everything. Um, the The first guy was Dave. The second guy was... Um, Starts with a T. Tanaka or something, something like, like that. that. I, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, but yeah, he was, uh, he took care of his guitars, did fixes on it. Uh, made sure he had all the right guitars when he was out in concert. I mean, just everything. And now um, it's actually all of his guitars are in the museum and being taken care of by a curator. Mm -hmm. Make sure everything is all right. Then, uh, and then the last thing, this was a special guest. It was a surprise. Yeah, it was, yeah. They had a concert uh, put on by... George Clinton. And his band. Yeah, band of 20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there were, there were probably five lady singers who came on and did some solos and um different members from his band and it was just like everything they just kept performing mm -hmm. all kind of Probably, all their music about um, an hour and a half concert yeah, yeah yeah they had everybody up and dancing and it was amazing all of this took place in his paisley park um home area home yeah he has a, a giant um performance area it's got the works in it from all the lighting sound everything mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure a lot of you know that have gone there before and uh, heard prince play in the past this is where they the same place where they held it yeah so yeah it's really late now we just got through eating we're gonna go night night yep. and we have to wake up early because we have another one and this time it starts at 11 o'clock day two yeah 11 to 5 yep. so we'll be back and we will Keep you updated on the second day. Day one, awesome. Yes. Day two, can't wait. See you tomorrow. 
Hi guys, so it's day two of Celebration 2017. It's Friday. Um, our time today was 11 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Another wonderful, wonderful day at Paisley Park. Um, today we uh, started off watching a, a video of Prince's concert, his last concert ever performed at, at Paisley, Paisley Park. Park. It was amazing. Um, just him and his piano. Uh, him sitting and playing and interacting Talking. with the audience. Yeah. Um, a lot of it was, um, a lot of the songs were story about um, when he was younger and stuff. So it was very, very interesting. Learned a lot. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we had the revolution panel. Yep, yep. They all sat down, He's talked so with windy. us. Yep. The doc and everybody sat down, talked with us. And um, they explained how they got into being the revolution, how they got picked. They were actually handpicked by Prince to be part of the revolution. One of them, I forget his name, um, um, is it the drummer? No, not the drummer. Doc? No, the, the bass know. player? Yeah. He, he was a cook. He actually was... Um, he made pancakes. Yeah, pancakes for he, Prince. Yeah. That's how he met Prince. Yeah, and, then, and he got into the revolution. Local restaurant here in Minnesota. And then after that, we had our lunch, which we had mac and cheese, which was so delicious, a nice green salad, and... What was it? Oh, it was like some kind of like... um. Yeah, like cashews in it and... Um, uh, rice pilaf and it had uh, pistachios in oh, it so it's really good and yeah. it had like f at least four different types of um, desserts it was very delicious yeah mm -hmm. after that we uh, went into the another uh, studio smaller size yeah, the one new power generation um, music club that's what they call that studio yeah and we talked with uh, people that were in his life quite a bit his photographers three of um, them all three of them that from the very beginning to to up how, to current yeah. and how they things. how they, he got they got picked to yeah. be um, um, his photographers. Very interesting. Yeah, and then the last was we went back to the sound stage and then the revolution played. Yeah, very touching. Um, they they played all the hits. They played some of the stuff from in the vault that no one has ever heard yet. Mm -hmm. um, last song they played was uh, Purple, Purple Rain. Rain. Very 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 touching. Yeah. But it was it was very good. I want to show you one of the collectibles. Yeah. This is a tour book, yeah. Yeah. This this one is for only for people that are at the event. Awesome. Yeah. And then tonight we're gonna get ready now. Tonight we we're gonna go to First Avenue, which was um part of Purple Rain, that you know the club that they played in? Yeah. We're gonna go to that tonight. They have some kind of um, late night dance party. Yep, that's where uh, Prince and Revolution had their first... Yeah, because tonight is actually the, the first anniversary of, of his um, passing. Of his yeah. passing. Yeah. So, yeah. So another, can't wait. Another great day. Yeah. So we'll keep you up to date tomorrow. Our, tomorrow our time is, um, I think it's five, 5 to 10 tomorrow. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. Stay purple. Yep. See you later. Peace and love. So tonight was our third night at Paisley Park. It's a Saturday. 
another great night. Uh, it was really, really good. Yeah. We started out with a showing of um, Prince's uh, concert in um, Florida um, with the Purple Rain uh, album. Um, that was really yeah. touching. Um, and it was really, really, really funny. Funny, yeah. Funny, yeah. funny, funny. Yeah, kind of reminded me a little bit of his um, piano and mic album a little bit because there are certain portions when he went on the piano and he just uh, did really funny. He would start playing and then he'd tell the crowd, okay, you guys think about it. He's no, actually a playing. really funny person. Yeah. Well, he was a funny person. And then we had our dinner break. And Again, we, made by the chefs. Yeah, his uh, personal chefs. Yeah. chef. And we had a uh, salad and it had kalamata olives, which is my favorite. Uh, the squash with uh, asparagus. Asparagus on a bit of, um, I want to say rice pilaf. Mm -hmm. And then pasta. And then the pasta. noodles, yeah, the pasta, pasta. with, um, uh, what was in there? Uh, oh, bro yeah, broccoli. broccoli. You really like the broccoli. There was something else in there. Was there some kind of nuts or something? Pine nuts. Pine nuts. It was yeah. really good. Yeah. And then there was like three or four different desserts. That was really good. Yeah. The brownie well, was really good. Even the one I had, I can't remember what it was, but I think it was like a um reminds me of a magic bar. Yeah, he where loves it had magic some coconut bar. and chocolate chips in there and it was very good. Yes. And then we went back to the sound stage and was it was in studio which had three speakers. Yep, they were all uh Prince's former sound engineers such as um uh, Sarah Rogers. No, Susan Rogers. Susan Rogers. Dr. Susan Rogers. Yes. Um, she did the Purple Rain album. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, the second one, I you know, I honestly can't remember their names. Two others. But, um, they did uh, following all the way up till uh, 2016, I mm -hmm. think. Um, sound engineers that I worked with him and the stories they told and, and just spoke of his talents. Unbelievable talents. Yeah. Um, he, he, could, he could go through and if he took a song and he'd go up by himself and the next day come in and it would be totally done. The whole thing um, done. He would play all the parts. He would do the vocals and everything. And, and by the time they come in the next day to check it out, it would be uh, it would be ready to go. Yeah, amazing. And then this one was really, really good. We, went, we got to walk through the museum. Yeah, we got to see things that um, most people don't get to see. Yeah. Um, we got to actually go into recording studio A which, Which is, is where he, yeah, his, his big main studio. And everything was left untouched after he passed yeah. away. They just sealed they just everything sealed up. sealed everything up and it, it's exactly how it was. Yeah, yeah. Last night we went to um, to uh, First Avenue. Mm -hmm. And when we did that, um, they had shown uh, one of the bikes. There are actually three bikes that they did. Um, uh, well, actually, one was under, one, actually two for Purple Rain. Two, two for Purple Rain. One and of one the bikes was, they showed yeah. at First uh Avenue last night was one of the Purple Rain bikes. The second Purple Rain bike, which is actually the first Purple Rain bike, is at um, Paisley Park in the museum. So mm -hmm. if you go there, you can check it out. And also they have the bike from? Um, graffiti Bridge. Graffiti Bridge. Yeah. The bike is also there. They're both in the same room. Um, so when you walk through for the tour, um, you get to see clothes that he actually wore during Purple Rain, during different movies, mm -hmm. during different concerts. There's guitars there, there's amps that he had fully, um, they're like a poster, they're dressed for the parts. I mean, just, mm -hmm. just thing after thing, item after item. Going into the studio where he actually, um, he actually recorded in Studio A. We got to see Studio um, B and C also. Um, but A was his main studio. Yeah. And, and when you look at the clothes, cause I've seen Prince in concert three times. And to me, he didn't look that small. But when you look at the clothes, he was really, really tiny. That's yeah, pretty tiny. Really tiny. Yeah. yeah. The one thing that touched us is um, at the beginning of the tour, um, when you walk into the main, like the great room, um, just off of that, there's a, like a little kitchen area where he would go in. There's a TV and stuff set up. And he would go and watch, to watch um, NBA basketball. basketball and stuff like that. But just off of that is the, the main great room. It, it has four huge um, pyramid type skylights that lets the natural light in, which is pretty it's much- It's called the atrium. Yeah, most it's of the- atrium. Most of the lights that, uh, that comes into the house, pretty much the only windows. But um, his, uh, we found out his ashes are, are, are resting, resting there in a uh, small size uh, um, urn replica which, of Paisley Park. Yeah, it looks it's just like it. Pretty it's, amazing. It's in a plexiglass that's mounted up high, um, so everyone can see it, but no one can touch it. And mm -hmm. 
it's it's an amazing place um, yeah it's unbelievable yeah if you ever have a chance to go to um minneapolis check out paisley park you can go do a tour yeah, yeah. Uh, all his museum. awards are there his gold yeah. records is oh speaking of that awards yesterday um i needed to use the restroom and so they were having something going on so i went to the restroom and then the um security said no you can't go using use this restroom you have to go to the other side so me and this other girl he said oh go through this door and you can go through the other side so he let us go through the door and it was part of the museum so i got to see a lot of the stuff I, st I told him i was like oh my god we got to walk down this hall and there were like all these awards on the wall like there was american His grammys, music, grammys american everything music, um, whatever you can think of for music movies yeah. they were all there yeah i mean the girl were like oh my god look at that and we're just like i was totally amazed that the that the security actually let us go through that way Yep, so that's part of uh, the tour that we got today. We got to see all those things. Mm -hmm. Her for the second time, lucky bugger. But uh, yeah, yeah. It was, the, the tour was just amazing, amazing, amazing. amazing. Totally the things amazing. you get to see and be right up to. Yeah. We got to see his office, which is oh. all his furniture still in there. Coffee cup resting on a desk. I mean, just Beautiful it's amazing. office. Yeah. Um, everything, like the floors and everything is um, almost copper-like. Yeah, it's like a. It looks like a wood finish, but the color is like a piece of copper. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. And, then and then we got to see of um, a lot yeah. of his um, outfits. Mm -hmm. And the love was it the love sexy room? Yeah. That that was pretty awesome too. Yeah. Uh, some um, outfits in there. Mm -hmm. uh, what else did we get to see? Of course, diamond and pearls. His there his oh, outfits yeah. with diamonds and pearls. Yeah, the beads that on that. They they show it from the back. Unbelievable. It's amazing. I told him, oh my God, I would just love to put that on. <laughs> it's like so beautiful. Yeah. And then, um, and the performance tonight was <laughs> the time. Yeah, it was the time. Yeah. And they were, they were really great. Really, 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 really good. Got the crowd involved. Yeah. Played, played some of their new hits, but played a lot of their old hits. Yeah. Uh, and um, Morris Day actually, um, a uh, new song came out yesterday. I forget the name of it, but it's a song, a tribute, something rainbow. Yeah. It's a tribute to Prince. To Prince. He released it yeah. on Prince's birthday. Yeah. So. Oh, uh, the sorry, death. Not birth, yes. Yeah. It's passing. Yeah. It's passing. Yeah. But yeah, so tomorrow is, re is our last day. But uh, we're not going to tell you about anything what's going to happen. Uh -huh. You'll have to tune yeah. in and see. On yeah. That one. And I just wanted to let you guys know that I forgot to tell you that the reason why we're only telling you about it is because we can't bring cameras in there yeah, no no cameras allowed yeah inside. It's, it's been like that since um prince was alive that's yeah. that's a rule yeah for whenever he did anything at his house the the preview concerts that he did in his house which is a, he has a, a total sound uh studio a recording and place to film mm -hmm. everything is done there he has um, places for to make clothes for all his outfits. And did you know that Graffiti Bridge was all filmed at Paisley Park? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so he did it's every, like a little everything. City. Yeah, everything he needs. He has seamstresses. Every all his costumes is made at Paisley Park. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. Major storage area yeah. on the on the ba in the basement, along with of course the vault. Yeah. Um, which we got to hear a song yesterday. Yeah. Um, done by. Uh, Oh, um, the revolution! Yeah. They did one of the songs that was in the vault. So yeah, we talked about that yesterday yeah. a little bit. But yeah, can't wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow's the last day. Yeah. So we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Hi guys. Hello there. So today it was the final day at Celebration 2017 at Paisley Park. Uh, today was a really really good day. Well, all the days are good. Yeah, yeah, they're all great. Um, started off the day with a slideshow, um, Prince slide show, uh, a, a video. video. Uh, Prince uh, was it the nineteen ninety concert? I think it was in Tokyo. yeah, in Tokyo. That was good. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. really, really good. But um, yeah, it was awesome concert. Uh, very, very good. Um, after that, we went to the. Uh, we stayed in a sound stage and. Uh, we had the um, new power generation uh, panel again yep. uh, with third eye girl yeah two of the third eye girl members and two of the new power generation members and they talked about how they first met um, and it was amazing because a lot of them um, met kind of almost like by accident prince heard one guy singing in uh, in the restroom at paisley park 
a little bit and asked him to come up and uh, heard another guy just playing guitar just yeah. that kind mm -hmm. of stuff and one, and one of the girls in uh, third eye girl she uh was i guess she had like an instagram or facebook and she was a model that's what she did and he liked what she did and then he brought her in and um she started dancing with them because um they went out to a club or something and he saw her actually dance and he was like you have to join me and she couldn't believe it and that's like what happened for yep. her was like she's he asked her twice to uh come out on the road for that and she thought concert. he was joking but yeah. he wasn't yeah yeah he he has he had the way to just bring out the best in people make them perform to their best and to never say cannot or can't and he knew their ability before they even yeah knew. brought them out brought them fully out of their own shell yes yeah uh then we had a, again another meal with uh with uh, prepared by his chefs, mm -hmm. um, was Salad. delicious again. Um, it had cranberries. Um, what else? Did it, oh, was it garbanzo? No, cranberries and some kind of dressing. Mm -hmm. And then, what was the other thing? There was that cheese wrap. Oh uh, yeah, it was like a cheese uh, manicotti or something like that. It was filled with cheese in it with almost like a oh, it's a red vodka looking sauce but i don't think it was vodka <laughs> but it was like it looked like it was made like the red kind of a sauce so i'm almost pink yeah. desserts were yummy yeah. again um, there was one more stuff that they had for hmm. oh it was some kind of rice, oh, yeah, the rice yeah, was it had like, um, yeah it had my favorite it had um lentils and my other favorite which is uh chickpeas so it was delicious <laughs> Yeah. After that, the meal break, then we went into the NPG Music Club. And that's when we got to talk with uh, David Z and uh, Robert Cubby Cody, who are both uh, sound engineers. Um, uh, th they also talked about how they got started, um, where there was... Um, he asked them to, to work on just a short portion, and then they ended up uh, having them... He had ended up having them stay like one of the guys was come over and work for a couple of days so he packed he uh, came out to uh to minnesota to uh to prince's paisley park and uh ended up staying i think three months yeah when he off. got there he was like no you're staying here for three yeah. months and he was like oh i guess now i have to go <laughs> shopping and buy more clothes yeah because he didn't think he was going to be out that long yeah just uh he just he just was able to to get the best out of out of mm -hmm. all the people that he he was around yeah yeah, so they talked about all of their experiences, funny ones. Um, one of them, uh, Robert uh, Cubby, talked about how um, they would work long, long hours. So he started bringing a payday bar, and he'd always put it up on the on this one area while they were playing and everything. And he'd be there the whole, whether it was nine hours or twelve hours or however many hours they were working. So he'd bring that, and when you know Prince would take a, a break to go use the restroom or whatever. That's his chance to get in a little bit, so he'd go and eat the payday bar. And um, he noticed one day that the payday bar was gone, so he kind of just didn't pay attention to it too much. And then following day, then I think it was the third day, he, he saw Prince eating. He saw Prince eating his payday, payday bar. bar, and then he went up to Prince and said, "Hey, that's my no, it's it's my payday." And then Prince turned around and said, "What day is it?" And uh, Cubby told him it's Wednesday. He said payday is Friday. Friday. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. Prince had a great sense of humor. Yeah. And then uh, the final thing was uh, a concert. And who was at that concert? MPG yeah. and Third Eye Girl. But they only did like maybe one song, yeah? Towards uh, the end. They did a few, yeah. A couple. And then yeah. um, the finale was, was so spectacular. It was some of the band members from... Uh, MPG from MPG and 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 the singer and a couple uh, people like guitarists and mm -hmm. stuff from Third Eye Girl and they put up a video of Prince it almost looked like it was could be holographic but yeah. it wasn't holographic because it was on screen yeah it was on but they I isolated him and it was just unbelievable yeah how they he did was it. singing and playing and that By sound himself. was coming out mm -hmm. but the rest of the band was playing all the rest of the music yeah it was so it's like really he was there playing the next closest thing you yeah could get to it was really trippy they and must have spent just, hours it was an awesome awesome 
that one song mm -hmm. was just so awesome. It went on, and mm -hmm. he had solos and all kind of stuff, dancing. And yeah, it was really spectacular. Yeah, he was wearing all gold. His gold. guitar was gold. Yeah. It it's was beautiful. amazing. And um, another thing, uh, Taika came up and yeah. to say goodbye to us and then yeah. said, um, have a safe, safe trip. trip. Yeah. yeah, she's really, really sweet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So she we, took the time. We told her that uh, we'll be back next. And she smells so yeah. good. She smells like my favorite perfume, Chloe. Yeah. <laughs> so we're planning on going back yeah. again next we're year. We're going to have it next year. So we're, we are going back next year. April yeah. 20th through, oh, I'm sorry, April 19th, 19th. through the 22nd yeah. next year. Yeah. So if you guys want to go, yep. you guys should check it out because it's if you love Prince, even if you don't like Prince or just you like him but not love him like how I do, yeah. you, you'll you get a greater appreciation. Yeah, everybody talked about the, the ones that worked with him, how amazing he, he, he is, he was. He could just be playing a guitar with one hand and on the other hand be playing a piano or keyboard, mm -hmm. playing the, ba the bass line with his other hand it's just mm -hmm. or he would show people how to do stuff on the piano but on the opposite opposite direction yeah to the the person would be on the right side but the, he would be on the opposite side but doing it the opposite so way you have to look at everything backwards mm -hmm. and actually play it backwards yeah to, to teach that person how to play it yeah and then also we also uh, went after the celebration we went underneath there's a bridge that's on kind of it's right next door but it's under to cross the highway yeah. yeah and it's um across by paisley park and they call it graffiti bridge bridge number two everybody goes there and they can sign it's pretty spectacular yeah. i'll have the video yeah up it's with a that. city park and you walk through a couple of um it's uh kind of like culverts but they're big and there's a walkway a paved walkway through mm -hmm. and there's memorials and people taking pictures and um everybody goes there goes and usually writes something mm -hmm. um one of the things that uh, that they talked about throughout the four days was listen learn teach and repeat. repeat and that's kind of the things that prince prince felt strongly about uh, and getting everybody to kind of spread i wouldn't say his magic but his belief is just giving everybody a fair shot bringing the best out of them no one's a weird person they're different and that's what makes us great is because we're all different mm -hmm. and right and they said if anybody calls you weird say thank you yeah. and take it as a compliment because yeah. that means you're you're not the same as everybody else yeah they make you feel like family when you're there we had such a nice time um um taika she she made us feel like like family at home um, she was walking by and she tapped June on the shoulder and she gave me a hug and stuff and then June got up and stuff was so yeah she's really nice yeah, it was very nice we we had a wonderful time there and and uh, can't wait to go back can't wait to go back um, for those of you um, that might be in the area or want to get there before next year next April um, on his birthday they're gonna be having a celebration I mm -hmm. think it's June, June 4th or the 7th I'm not something too sure what but you can check the it. site on that and they're gonna have a celebration then for his birthday so yeah or even if you're just in the area just check out yeah. the museum yeah. they you have can go tours. And take tours and yeah it's it's so worth it yeah yeah we had a wonderful time there yeah very very wonderful we're time. tired but it, it's it, it's was totally worth it yeah yeah. It, it goes by so quick. We're there for like about five hours a yeah, day. Yeah, but it goes by so Feels quick because like we're having so much hour, fun. Maybe an hour. You yeah. just, you're going from one room. We had the tour yesterday. Mm -hmm. I mean, just one thing after another. We went out to the um, his um, memorial fence, which is actually on the property. Mm -hmm. um, we'll be posting some pictures of that, yeah? Yeah. And uh, yeah, we learned so much. Yeah. Well, I thought I already knew everything about Prince, but obviously not. Yeah. yeah it's a lot to learn yeah listen learn teach repeat. repeat so that's it guys hope you enjoyed watching our video we'll see you next time treat everybody with love peace and respect bye bye